Uh, my name is Jeff Mason, and I have covered the White House for 12 plus years now, which means uh, I covered all eight years of Barack Obama's presidency, about two weeks of George W. Bush's presidency, so I don't really count that, and, um, and all four years of President Trump's presidency, and now uh, the beginning of, of President Biden. Uh, journalists did definitely get some attention over the last four years uh, because of that tension between the White House and the press corps. And certainly when some of us had tense exchanges with the president, those occasionally went viral and I had a couple of them. Um, most recently in 2020, I had a couple viral moments with the president where he asked me to take my face mask off in the middle of the pandemic. And I declined and it politely just said, no, I'll speak up uh, and speak louder. And the first time that happened, he accused me of being politically correct. That was in the summer. Uh, the second time was in the fall. He just, he, he just didn't like it. And that was at a time when, you know, the country as it is now was struggling with this pandemic and when healthcare professionals were and continue to encourage people to wear masks. And though I was in a plenty of distance between myself and the president, he was absolutely right about that. I was standing next to other reporters, which is why I left my mask on. So that was one. And I'll start by describing the top of that story, which came from uh, just an observation I made on the morning of January 20th. So my, my job that morning was to watch President Trump depart the White House. And um, after he did leave on Marine One for the final time as the, as the 45th president, um, we walked back in to the White House because the press corps stays. And I, I went over to the hallway that leads up towards the Oval Office, which I can't just walk into as a member of the press, but I can walk into the area called Upper Press where, um, where the press staff sit. And I noticed that the guard desk had had a plastic shield put up or a plexiglass shield put up in the same way that you see those shields at the supermarket now. And it was just striking to me that within minutes, essentially, of President Trump having left um, and in the, the few hours of transition before President Biden uh, was to come in, these types of physical changes had already been made to the White House that represented a new seriousness about COVID.